Hello, welcome to this edition of Glock Perfection, or in this case, Glock Almost Perfection. And the one area where they've obviously succeeded in producing near perfection, um, our friends at Glock have uh, engineered some very fine uh, packaging, which doesn't take two men and a boy to open. And there you see the magazine package for the official Glock made um, 12 round extended magazine which is supposed to fit and does fit very perfectly in this particular pistol which is a Glock 26 9 millimeter only, um, and again, we'll do the standard safety thing here and show you that it's empty and keeping our finger off the trigger at all times and not pointing it at anything that you don't intend to actually shoot. Okay, we've gotten that far. So, what do we got here? We've got a Glock 26 that was purchased two years ago. And as you see, I'm left-handed. And when you're left-handed, you operate the slide release with your finger, not your thumb, as a right-hander would do, like so. Um, and it's the slide release that I want to talk about. You notice that that works very well. But there's also a crucial difference, and that difference is here. Oh my goodness, a twin Glock 26. Only it's not a twin. It's brand new, just bought a week ago. And uh, it's a very fine weapon, there's no doubt about that. Uh, I wouldn't have bought two of them if I didn't think so. But we have one little problem, and it goes back to slide release. I'm left-handed, so I'm going to try to operate the slide release, just as I did with the older one. It's been broken in. Ah, I'm exerting enough pressure there so that I'm actually feeling pain in my finger. And just to be equitable, we'll try with the right hand, with a more powerful thumb. And gee whiz, look at there. The factory slide release is distinctly different in appearance than the aftermarket slide release on the old Glock. And why did I buy a slide release of an aftermarket slide release? I bought it because I had to in order to operate, guess what, the slide release. Now, there it'll work. Now just imagine yourself in a self-defense situation in a crisis moment and uh, you need to, you just uh, inserted your magazine and you want to release the slide and chamber around and you have to stop and do this? I don't think so. <laughs> okay, so that's the basic problem. Glock makes an excellent weapon and um, in my area they retail for once the uh, gun, gun dealer puts on their added fees and the state puts on their taxes this gun retails for a little over six hundred dollars and this gun cost exactly the same amount almost two years ago so the question becomes since these uh, extended slide releases which do work for left or right-handed cost only about fifteen dollars on the market on the aftermarket uh, one wonders, since manufacturing costs are actually a fraction of uh, retail costs, um, one wonders why Glock in their perfection hasn't chosen to put a, a more effective slide release lever on their um, very fine Glock 26s and other models. Other than that, there's no real complaint, but the message I'd like to send it our very good friends at Glock is 
please start supplying usable slide releases on your self-defense pistols. And thank you very much.